Thanks, Mr. Garen. So we we're going to look at looking at the uh, mate graph for the competition. So you have the data table first. You have to do temperature in the first column, depth in the second column. There should be no blank rows or columns separating data. It should all be right next to each other. So there's, there should be no blank cells in, in, around any of the data. All right, now click inside the data table, preferably inside one of the cells. Doesn't matter which one, but one of the cells of the depth column. Then we are going to hit insert chart and the type of chart we are going to be um, inserting is called a scatter chart so we go insert we come over here to chart types and we are going to choose a scatter chart we have to choose the scatter chart with lines not just points so we're going to choose a scatter chart there now notice what it did automatically by choosing a scatter chart it compares the temperature on the x-axis with the depth on the y-axis or the vertical axis. Now we're going to make a few changes to make the chart look better and to make it official and that needs to be done um, not just for looks but for um, accuracy. So the, we're going to change the title of the chart and we're going to add axis titles and we're going to move the location of the values of the horizontal axis above the zero line. All right, so let's start with that one. So we click on any one of the numbers that represent the number for the horizontal axis. If you click in between, it won't work. You gotta click actually one of the numbers so it highlights the axis bar. Then you come over here to chart or axis options for the chart. You come to label and you tell it to go high. So instead of saying next to axis, you change label position to high and notice it goes above. Now we're going to do the chart title. Notice it appears already here and it's called depth. And we're going to change it to say water depth versus water temperature. Now we are going to add chart, I'm sorry, axis titles. But we notice there's really not any room in between the lines and stuff to make it. So we're going to have to make the chart a little bit bigger. So we're going to go, I'm going to grab the, the top middle circle to go up a little bit. I'm going to grab the left middle circle to go left a little bit. Now that didn't really give me any more room because it expanded the chart. But now what I'm going to do is click on the chart inside uh, and I'm going to make it smaller so that will give me room now to put axis titles all right in order to put axis titles on there i insert text text box now when you do text box the moment you click you get a box but you need to not make any changes yet until you've started to type something because the moment you click to try to change something you lose the box so you have to type something in the box before you can change it now i'm going to put temperature on the horizontal axis de degrees centigrade and i'm going to when you do the unit of measure it has to be in parentheses and i'm going to do the lowercase o and a capital c now i know that doesn't look like degrees but watch what we're about to do here we highlight the letter O, the lowercase O, and then we go up here to where it says font, and I go to the bottom right-hand corner of the font um, section, and I go to font settings. And then right here, I do superscript. Superscript raises it high. And now look at what your circle did. It went up above, so it looks like degrees. Now, the to make this a little bit um, more flexible, I'm going to make sorry I'm having trouble understanding right now I'm going to make the box for the text label the size of the axis and then I'm going to center it so this way if it changes sizes um, it'll always be in the center as long as I make sure that text box is the same as size as the axis all right now I'm going to do the same thing for the vertical and I'm going to say insert text box again 
text box and then I click over here but remember before you do anything type depth and then that's going to be meters and now there is a slight change here because it is the vertical axis we want to grab that rotation tool and we want to rotate it so it's sideways and then we're going to do the same thing with the centering of the text inside the text box after we make this text box the size of the axis and there is your chart all right